Hello, hello, fam. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there too daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldies with goodies. So you guys, finally, I got this powder. I got it, I think, in another Sephora haul, but then I ended up returning it because it wasn't my shade and it was just the whole thing. This has been out for at least two years and I always wanted to try it and the VIB sales going on now. And why not try it? for you on camera first impressions to see if it's really that good you guys know how much i love makeup forever i think they do makeup so well this powder was the one that really brought powders back to the forefront and to popularity so here we are this is how it looks i think it's my shade i think i finally got my shade i don't know it has the big lettering back here your shades right there so you know what you're working with I like the little compact, it brings a mirror, and it also brings this sponge thingy that kind of feels, oh look, it has like this, so you could apply it this way. Oh, that's what we're gonna do, because I know this, I feel like the typical sponges, they're just not my friends, you know? I'm gonna do, what am I gonna do? We need to prime the skin. We're gonna use this pore filling primer from e.l.f. and just get the pores. I usually, when I work with powder foundations, I don't like to use a primer that's super wet because we're gonna have powder on top of the skin as opposed to liquid foundation. So that's why I'm starting off with this one. It's not too like, wet, it's a cream formula. And I already did my concealer, we're ready to go. So let's let this sit for a little bit and I'll be back. Okay, I'm so excited, let's start here with i'm gonna go with this velvet side first and let's see oh this looks like my shade okay oh i mean i don't know it's supposed to be like a super blurring matte powder wow this is like melting in the skin kind of like this this side get like the entire face and I'm just kind of like sliding it on and then like let's press it in this was made to be on bare skin yeah that's the that's the vibe I'm getting that's the vibe look at this look at the before and after it's pretty natural it's not heavy it doesn't feel chalky like some powder foundations feel especially when you apply it on bare skin and especially when you apply it with this because a lot of times you can really feel the actual texture of the powder on your skin so i like it <gasps> okay okay wow and i'm so excited because i actually got this part of in the vib sale so why not get it on sale you know okay this is wow i'm very impressed let me show you it looks a little patchy on camera but it doesn't look patchy in person here let's blend it out see how smooth it looks versus nothing wow okay dang so my friend here, celeste robert she always comments and gives me like the greatest makeup advice she told me to use a damp sponge on powder because that's the way she does it so let's do it here let's get a little bit my sponge is damp and then let's just like blend it out oh okay celeste you have something here glides on nicely actually oh my god as I'm applying it, let me give you some info about the makeup. The Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder retails for $38. I am in the shade R370, comes in 30 shades. This is a full coverage blurring powder with a light matte finish that blends and breathes with your skin for 12 hours that never cakes, flakes, or fades. The coverage is full, the finish is matte. This is vegan and it comes in a 0.38 ounce compact. All right, the sponge application is way better. You see how smooth it looks? But this one's not bad. But let's just, this is a sponge. This is, ooh. <laughs> it looks a little rough, but that's the application. Let's kind of like smooth it out with the sponge. Okay, okay, okay. I like this and I love just how fast this works. Yeah, this sponge, doesn't it look so pretty? It looks like skin. It doesn't even look like powders on your skin. It just melts in that way, especially with the, the powder puff. I mean, the sponge. Okay, okay. It's like we're done. But you know what? Let me just add some blush 
and finish up the face really quick and I'll be back. Oh wait, before I go, before I go, before I go. It's 7.40, so I'll be back. I realized I didn't show you what I did to finish up my face like I usually do. I don't know, I completely forgot, but I just used this blush and I'm using Urban Decay's new setting spray. This thing's bomb. I used the Tarte Mascara and then this lip combo in More Magenta and Go Getter from NYX. And here we are. The skin looks really good. I'm kind of loving this sponge. This is like the new way to apply. Thank you, Celeste. Girl, girl. Okay, but let's get close. Let's get close. Here is the sponge velvet side. But like the skin looks like skin. Like you see, it's just, I feel like we have one shade, one tone. And then here is the sponge. Do you see how much better it looks? Man, it looks good. The skin looks like skin considering that this is a powder foundation. It is a velvet powder, so I'm getting that velvet vibe on the skin because it's really warming up and melting into the skin, which is a good thing because most powder foundations, it usually takes a couple of hours for your skin to warm up, for it to warm up and kind of mesh with the skin. This one automatically does it, so I'm kind of feeling that. It doesn't feel heavy. We got my shade, I literally guessed. And yeah, that's always a good guess, you know? Let's go in front of the window and maybe the shade will change because, you know, sunlight is different. But yeah, this is it for now. I'll see you later. Bye. Here we are, the skin. This is the sponge side. I like it. Doesn't it look natural? It looks like skin, just one tone. And here is the, the little thingy. <laughs> this is the perfect quick makeup because it doesn't feel or look like a powder. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. Okay, yeah, I'm back. It is eight o'clock. Oh my god. We've had the foundation on for 12 hours or like four, 13 hours. But of course, before we get started, I do want to show you how the skin was looking at around four o'clock. And I will say it was looking pretty good. You were able to see some of my oils come through and my pores a little bit, but overall the skin looked like skin, very lightweight, very velvety. And here we are now many hours later and i'm pretty oily you know what i've noticed with powder foundations they just get really oily when they're on bare skin but if you set it with a liquid foundation first and then set it i feel like the skin looks a lot better it kind of works together because alone i'm not mad at it it looks pretty good but i have noticed in the last few foundation reviews that wearing it by itself you you're gonna get oily especially if you have oily skin like me because look <laughs> Look at all these oils. But coverage is still there. Like this side of my face looks the same as the morning time. I definitely love the sponge side better. You can see that it lasted a little better than here. Here you can kind of see those patches right there, you know? But overall, I really like it. I think it's very consistent to how we started off in the morning. And that's really important because we don't want to start off one way and completely end the evening or the day. That's how that's AF, you know? So I'm going to touch up just so you can see how the skin would look. And honestly, I, I just add a little bit more blush. We're kind of like good to go. We're kind of look like how we did in the morning time. So not too shabby, huh? I like it. I like it a lot. And yeah, I think this is it. Just wanted to show you guys the quick wear test that I finally got my hands on this and I was able to show you guys. Let me know if you've used this before. If so, do you like it? I know it's been out for a while, but I had to get it and I had to show you how it works on oily skin. And I'm very surprised how good it looks, you know, especially this side. But yeah, I think this is it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.